Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to Oscar Buzz. Uh, we're streaming today. We're just uh, gonna hang out. We're just gonna have fun. Um, we were almost going to do uh, Oscar predictions tonight, like early 2025 predictions, and we decided against it because we want to just be able to have time to just do like a lot of them uh, all at yeah, once. Just basically a full slate uh, in one, and then obviously they'll be cut up into yes, individual yeah. more bite size sort of stuff. But we thought we'd keep you hanging for a bit. You can, <laughs> you know, we've got a lot of time. It's not like we're short on time to do these uh, very early Oscar predictions. So yeah, you can sure. wait another couple days. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, no, but should be should be fun. I think I think we'll do that on a Wednesday is when we'll do it. Okay, so. I think we'll yeah. do that. Wednesday, um, and uh, yeah, but hello to everybody in chat, Rodney, Pranks, Aaron, um, so yeah, so today, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna look over the Oscar subreddit, because why not? There's yeah, not much going some on interesting in the, stuff. the world of things right now. No, indeed, indeed, it's been a slow march, it really it's has been, been a really slow, slow march, march for films, like, mm -hmm. I'm looking at the next coming even next few weekends we've got what ghostbusters godzilla civil mm. wars like, civil, civil war is going to be the big next one and that's still but a bit like, away yeah, and then obviously it's, challenges, so. it's it's slow though it's it's been a slow couple weeks like not even just like for like oscar stuff or whatever but just like in general for film like, yeah like, we haven't yeah. done a review since dune um no and, and that's because there's not there. really like, been... i do want to see like i want to see immaculate i want to see that i've heard movie. good buzzy things and it's making a bit of a splash so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That late night with the devil, I think it'd be fun to to go check out. So I don't know we might do a review soon. Um, we'll also probably sometime early April do like a recap stream of all the things that we watched, um, just that we haven't reviewed during Oscar season. Uh, yeah, Monkey yes. Man. I see Liam in the chat. Yeah, so pumped for yeah. Civil War. I saw um Adriano, uh, a Adriano watched Civil War and like actually really liked it. So yeah, the more I'm here and the more I'm looking forward to it. I'm I still think not. It, I think I'm gonna like it. I'm I actually not. think I'm we're gonna, gonna really like it. <laughs> we're gonna have really yet disagree. another review where you really like something and I don't. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably. Um, let's see. You read the challenger script. Trevor's gonna. Twitter is. <laughs> I, I read tre Twitter as Trevor. That's bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> Twitter. Is, Twitter is gonna be <laughs> insufferable. Uh, but the ending is a cop out. Gets to have his cake and eat it. Okay, interesting. Okay. Um, I'm so excited. I trust Luca. Love Lift Bleeding was oh, actually yeah. good. I'm really excited about it. I'm actually really excited. And I have not watched Problemista. It's not been in theaters near me, but I really want to see Problemista. That's the thing. The things that I actually want to see just aren't near me. Love Lift Bleeding and uh, Problemista just are, aren't close. But um, I'm going to try to see Love Lift Bleeding sometime this week. Because, uh, nice, yeah, nice. I really do want to see it. Very Get excited. around to it at some point. I don't think it's here yet. Uh, or if it's uh, seen it, but, you know. Very excited for hundreds of beavers and People's Joker. People's Joker is still my favorite movie of the year. I've seen 50 2024 releases, which I know is a lot, but you know. Yeah, especially considering we just said this month has been fairly slow. But yeah. no, you're still at yeah. 50 by three months, so. Um, but yeah, no, uh, People's Joker is phenomenal, though. Like, it's I, I could genuinely see it being one of my, uh, like, my, being my number one of the year by the end of the year, to be honest. Um, and then, yeah, hundreds of beavers, uh, I've been excited about for a while. I just need it to be available to me what the fuck is my hair doing i don't know. um uh jack warning any challenger slander results in banning okay well, okay well i don't think you'll need to worry about that i'm fairly confident I'm gonna i, I think we're both gonna like it i think we're both gonna like it I so gonna like it. i don't think we need to be worried about that uh and you see outrun and bliss is gonna be yeah, outrun did come out at sundance um reactions were fairly tepid but uh search is apparently great um but yeah uh okay so what what we're gonna do today we will look over the reddit we can just do that now and then we are going to be doing a ranking of the last 20 best picture winners and we're a collective have some one takes so yeah because i was noticing that like fairly my my takes are fairly normal on films usually but with best picture winners it feels like i'm just against the grain on a lot of them and i realize this is because i just like most of them a lot of ones, there are ones that people are like, oh, this is terrible. This is never one. I still kind of like the movie. So, yeah, like there's not many in the past 20 years that I dislike. So it'll be very interesting because I know there are quite a few that you really actively there's don't like. A, quite a few that I have. So like. we'll have some interesting conversations. We'll come to a collective uh, ranking, which should be, we should be fun. The past 20 years as well. We could have yeah. done past 10, but why not? Why not expand 20? Why not 20? We have the time um but yeah uh have you seen any of ralph Bakshi's filmography i've seen the lord of the rings animated one 
Oh yes, I've seen that one. I've seen The Hobbit as well, actually. Um, okay. I don't so I've seen, I've I've seen, seen, seen all of them. Boxy. Um, thoughts on <laughs> Fully Ado being a jukebox musical? Yes, yeah, so I heard that apparently there's gonna be fifteen mm. songs. I think it'd be really funny if they were just all Lady Gaga songs. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like. Yeah, I don't know. I I still don't think it's going to be good. No, I have reservations. I think it's a type of film that the first one made such a splash and was such a sort of cultural thing. And it was so like, oh, this is so against the norm. This is so groundbreaking of the film. And they're trying to do it again. It doesn't really. And they're trying to do it again. Yeah. And I don't I don't trust them to do it successfully. Yeah. So I feel like we're gonna get a lot thrown at us. It's gonna be a very big film, a very polarizing film, very hard film to ignore. Will it be good? I'm not sure. I need to see a trailer. I really need to see a trailer fairly soon to settle these nerves, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm very okay without a tra I just I I'm I don't know. I really I don't know don't. if you get a trailer and it starts selling me on okay, this is the vibe we're going for. Currently it just feels very all over the place. Like you're throwing a lot of ideas around. I don't know what you're doing. So Yeah. That's kind of why I want a trailer, really. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Um let's see. Uh they better do better romance and Joker do. Thoughts on Charlie Kaufman, the greatest filmmaker to ever live. I like Kaufman quite a bit. I've seen progressively little of his work. I've seen some of his. Sure, sure. Uh, interesting to see how Mar Margot's yeah Margot Robbie's producing a a Sims movie. I saw that. I mm, you know what they need to do? Okay, mm. you know what they need to do? Uh, they need to get Celine Song because you know how Celine Song like kind of made a name for herself. Sure. She did a Twitch stream of like uh, I can't remember what play it was, but like I, or I think she wrote a play. She wrote a play. And then performed it through Sims and on a Sims. Twitch stream. Yeah. Okay. Get Celine Song. Maybe. I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure it's going to work at all. I think it is literally just it's capitalizing okay. on the success of Barbie. I trust Margot Robbie. Hopefully. For the most part. But. Yeah. I mean, she did produce Saltburn. But I don't. That was a good producing move for her. That's fair. That's like, fair. That, it wasn't. A, a, yeah, it wasn't I guess a as a failure. producer, yeah. As a producer, I trust what she's doing. Sure. So, but yeah, with this, I it's a questionable decision. I'm not. I'm not engaging in a Sims movie. A Sims movie, really, yeah. is this all we're doing. Um, despite the big tech scope, is it possible Dune Part Two misses out on Best Picture? Not especially if one rather prioritize something else. What else are they going to prioritize? I mean, like, Joker would be the thing Are they i guess really gonna do Joker unless or... mad max is really good no but that doesn't feel likely i think those are the only they've only really got sequels this year they don't have anything yeah like an elvis i mean um, wicked that's what well, i'm not i really you know, wicked's not gonna be good let yeah. alone an oscars player yeah no i agree i agree um is materialist coming out this year the last i heard it was gonna start shooting soon so i don't know I don't know. Yeah, we've got a lot of films sort of in a nebulous state currently in terms of they're sort of being yeah. shot now, kind of produced now. It's a lot of ambiguous releases there. We could get a very stacked end of the year. Which we could, we could. Or, oh, oh we could do or it could be very rare. Never mind then even. Oh, Wicked Universal. Okay, yeah. No. <laughs> you can care. You, you can see how little I care about Wicked here. Um, yeah, no, it's just, it's, I don't, don't see it being good whatsoever um uh, megal yeah megalopolis is another one where's this i i saw that there was a test screening supposedly soon but okay interesting i really some films you don't trust the test screenings of at all and some films you really don't trust the test screenings of i feel like megalopolis is one of those where it's very much going to be dependent on the person that's watching it and the the people so we'll see but i really wouldn't take too much stock in megalopolis test reactions yeah for sure for sure can you see maria being this year's the whale with a comeback narrative maria that's the lorraine right that's a lorraine one yeah, yeah, lorraine. yeah uh i mean maybe for a it's yeah julie i i could see it i mean it's just it's way too early to say anything like that right now like yeah we did the whale get screenplay i think it did no it? it missed did it miss yeah, it it then um, it could get a similar package. It could get a similar package. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's just it's way too early to say right now with 
Yeah. I mean, uh, we don't even know festivals or anything. So, uh, why why do you people think that Nosferatu is gonna be a best picture player? Uh, I'm pumped. Don't get me wrong, but really, yeah, I don't think it is at all. To yeah. be honest, yeah. uh, if we look at Egger stuff, like I just think that's people who are like, oh, nope, nope's gonna be a best picture. No, it's just like just because the the director's big name and film Twitter loves them doesn't always translate. Uh, especially what we saw with Northman, I think that he's just going to lean further in that direction with Nosferatu, and it's also even further than Northman. I yeah. assume this is going to be a less mainstream oh, film absolutely. than Northman even was. And it's so. and it's coming out at the end of December, which is turned out not like hasn't really been turning out for films. Uh, which is year. also weird. I don't imagine December's really a time people are craving a Nosferati film. Exactly. I don't know why you don't just yeah, release that sort of thing your, around your, October. Your, your uh, family yeah. over Christmas. Ooh, my so. family day out, yeah. Yeah, but no, the only argument that slightly is that, you know, it's based on such a classic film that maybe there's a bit of that, but I really, I just don't see it at all, to be honest. Yeah, so. no, for sure. For sure, for sure. Um... All right. Do we think Emma can win again with the upcoming film? I, I what? No, kind of, kind of kindness. I think is going to be kind of missing across the board. It's an anthology film. They don't like anthology films. I'd be surprised mm-hmm. if that got a single nomination. To be honest. Yeah, it's in summer as well, and just because the last uh, August film yeah. did do quite well, I don't, I don't think he's the type of director who always gets his stuff in. I think yeah. he's hit I, lightning twice with the favorite and poor things. I don't think it's like, it's like a consistent thing. It, it, he's not like Scorsese. Play Max. He's not Scorsese. He's not Spielberg. He's not yeah. always going to get at least Max or if there's anything. random makeup stuff that would get it in. It, maybe, it yeah, easy. maybe. But like that didn't happen for like the French Dispatch, which yeah. had very impressive text. Like, yeah. just didn't come to anything. So yeah, I don't know. I I really don't think it's getting a single nomination, to be honest. Um. Okay. Should we look through Reddit? <laughs> Let's go through Reddit. Yeah. All right, uh, let me adjust this. Um, cool. Straight off the bat, the Jonathan Glazer speech. We've already talked about the Jonathan. I can't Glazer see speech. the Reddit, by the way. Oh, Just I need to let you see Reddit. Add me in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, cool. Yeah, the Oscars Reddit, a fascinating place. Oh, also Eddington. Very excited about that new new Ari Aster. Uh, yes, yes. I like, even though I didn't like Bo the Afraid, it's still a big, bold swing, and I yeah. like big, bold swings, and Midsummer and Hereditary are my two favourite films of 2018 and 2019, respectively. Sure. Like, he made back-to-back my favourite films of the year, so I'll yeah. always be rooting for Ari Aster's films to do well. Absolutely. And be good. Absolutely. Yeah, and I even, I, I think Bo the Afraid is his best movie, so. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, absolutely love it. Um, Cool, yeah, so the Jonathan Glazer speech, um, I uh, I saw it was a uh, Kushner I think was defending it because there was that so there was this letter that was written that was like oh these are Jewish industry professionals and we're speaking out against Jonathan Glazer's speech and Variety just put up a link and it the the letter is just a Google form where you can just put your name and you don't have to <laughs> like you don't have to put in any verification that you're one Jewish or two an industry professional so. It was that, like, there were names in there that was, like, uh, revert to the sea. Like, right. uh, I don't know. They weren't verifying it. So I'm glad that people are actually, like, speaking out in support of Glazer. I don't think there's much more for us to say. We've made our, no. our opinion no. very clear on this. Yeah, okay. So this. Apparently yeah. it's going to be, like, A24's, I think this would be A24's, like, biggest opening as well, I read somewhere. I mean, it makes sense. Like, Garland is a clever man. He's made a film called Civil War in a very contentious time. Um, it's been marketed very well. Very well. Yeah. They've, done, they've done a good job on this one. And, like, I think a lot of people are sold. I think people that don't normally know about A24 releases and kind of that kind of thing yep. are still going to be looking at this film like, oh, yeah, let's go I check it out. I talk my dad into seeing this. Like, I... Yeah, and the good thing is, it's been really politically ambiguous in terms of its marketing. You're going to get people from I both like, sides of the sorry, equation. I feel this. like the whole Civil War thing isn't what the movie's actually going to be about. I think that that is like we're only seeing like part of the movie. Uh, Maybe. It, and then like it will actually be about like some more random pretentious bullshit that he'll come yeah, up with. The Garland. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah the he'll, he'll just, he'll just Garland more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to yeah. get in Jesse Clemens multi-rolling and then 
he's going to birth himself and all of that kind of thing. <laughs> Jesse Plemons is going, going to birth well. President Bernie Sanders. Exactly. And <laughs> those kind of things will be in this film, hopefully. No, but I'm, as I say, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it'll be good. Let's, let's just, fingers crossed and wait. Yeah, so yeah, 91% on Rotten Tomatoes, 77 on Metacritic. Uh, and then 24's biggest opening of all time with a recognizable ensemble and writer-director. Yeah. As far as awards, I don't think this is going to be a player at all. Like, except maybe, like, if it gets, like, sound or VFX or something. But Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. No. I'm, I I'm just, so I think it might be too polarizing, and probably. it's not, like, released around. Unless I feel it, like, like don't, it, look up, don't look up. Don't look December. It would be the only that, thing. that only really got in because it was being watched around Christmas. It was a very pandemic film in yeah. any other year that wasn't the pandemic when people are stuck at home watching Netflix, Don't Look Up wouldn't wouldn't have made such a splash that it did. So if this was the type of film that's releasing in December, maybe I could see it being more of an awards player if people are apt to be watching it around that time. I just don't see it, though. I yeah. don't see it. From what I've heard from South by Southwest reviews, Civil War doesn't take a side and is more about the journalists. Okay, well, people are cool. going to eat that cool. up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm still very skeptical of the movie, but we'll see. I mean... I'm not going to go into it wanting to dislike it. Uh, this thing. So Jeffrey Wright has joined the cast alongside Denzel Washington and Spike Lee's High and Low. How do we feel about Spike Lee remaking High and Low after Old Boy? <laughs> yeah, I don't... I don't know. It feels like a commercial jump. <laughs> or as much as it could be. Yeah. Um, but I like Jeffrey Wright. I like Denzel Washington. Like I like the I like people Spike involved. Generally. But like exactly. I don't know, and like we've seen a Kurosawa remake that was like inoffensive, with living. Like I, I, I yeah, don't think it's nearly as good as Ikiru, but like I feel like Spike Lee would bring something slightly. Yeah, but he tried to bring something today. slightly interesting to Old Boy, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't mm. know. That's I true. Oh, yeah, Spike Lee, try not to remake Asian movies challenge impossible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, High and Low is a very good Kurosawa movie that you should watch. I should. I should. I was talking to someone in the chat, but you too. If oh, you haven't seen it. I need to watch it though. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Um, okay, this is interesting. I actually want to pull up the article for this. Um, Furiosa is supposedly going to open can. Hmm. Which is not a good sign. Which is last not a good year, sign because we had you look at Jean de Barry. <laughs> yep, yep. Jean de Barry no. famously last year opened up can. Um, from what I've heard, like, I, I, I don't know. There's been a couple test screens. I think they were positive, but yeah. I mean, we'll it, see. It's just not a good sign. It's just a curse sort of thing. And maybe also, this will be the one to break it, and it is actually a light film, but. If you look at George Miller's last movie that went to can, do you even remember what it was? I uh, which one was that? Fucking three thousand years of longing. Remember that movie? Oh, we did a shit. review yes, for that movie. That yeah, was like yeah, two yeah. Years ago. No, yes, I forgot. I, I completely forgot about yeah. that film's existence. Nobody remember. Like it is. It's, no one it's, remembers that. It is insane. How yeah. much that movie has faded from everybody's memory. Yeah. No, I saw that in cinemas as well. I did too. Yeah. It's, 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 like, it's, there, there's a whole other review. Like, you can go watch our review. I, I have no memory of recording. I mean, I wouldn't. Because it was about nothing. Two years ago. But I wouldn't go watch it. But if you are really desperate to know our thoughts, if that's what you've been really craving today, I'll. Yeah, if, if you've been like, hmm, what, what do, what do Trevor and Thomas years think of 3,000 years of longing? Yeah, then find out. Uh, I guess. By all means. Yeah. We'll leave a link in the description, I'm sure. Yeah, the Idris sure, Elba right. Genie movie, that one. Yeah, yeah, the Idris Elba Genie movie. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you know, Furiosa out of comp as well. So yeah, George Miller's anticipated sequel, Furiosa Mad Max Dog, has been confirmed for the 77th Ken Film Festival. The film uh, will be unveiled in the presence of blah, 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 these things. Out of competition gala session on Wednesday, May 15th. Uh, been widely anticipated. Um... As the opening film of this year's edition, but instead is playing on the second evening of the festival, which kicks off on May 14th. Wait, what the fuck? Well, this said... Cool. Opens. That was annoying. Said, I don't know. Oh. Um, it's going to be a can, anyway. It's going to be, be a, a can. can. It's going to be out of competition. Um, 
Uh, but yeah, he's been wanting to make this for over a decade. The last one was three thousand years long. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I forgot that was George Miller as well. What? I forgot that was George Miller. Three thousand years long. Yeah, it's yeah. just a, it's a weird, weird ex- just thing that exists. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm very skeptical of it to be honest. Like I. I like Fury Road. I'm not like head over heels in love with it as much as a lot of other people. And I just feel like this will be kind of like a shallow recreation of the magic of that movie that that, that very much felt lightning in a bottle. Um, it very much felt new and yeah, novel. And that's what we really liked about it. And I don't... I'm not sure this will quite recapture that. I still have faith in it being good, though. I still have faith in it being yeah, an enjoyable be time. Yeah, exactly. I think it will be fun. The trailers have sold me on this is a fun film. We'll see. We'll yeah. see about this one. It's, yeah, it's a sort of question. Oscar and her happy feet. His only Oscar came yeah. for happy feet. Yeah. Which yeah. is wild. Um, someone mentioned the Balconettes in chat. I'm very excited about this. Nomi Merlant directing. Sign me up. Oh, is this this one? Okay. Yeah. I'm so here for anything, Nomi Merlant. Um, yeah, there's French rules like it has to be in theaters and open the festival. Like, so under, yeah uh what are you guys studying in uni college whatever it's called uh if you are uh i'm doing film i mean currently i'm doing english lit history and film and then i'll be doing either history or history and film at uni depending on my grades nice. so we'll see um cool but yeah i don't know cautiously optimistic with furiosa but i'm not expecting much for it as an oscar player <clears throat> oh this would be interesting who's the most overdue for an oscar right now i don't know uh, listen i love lily gladstone i don't know if you <laughs> i wouldn't call her overdue no. i wouldn't call her overdue yeah i'd be curious to read this though yeah most overdue for an oscar um let's see they can prelude okay fresh wounds lily gladstone yeah i i she's not overdue no no I mean, I, I love her. I think that she deserves one, but she's not overdue. I am very excited about... So she's going to be in The Memory Police, uh, which is a Charlie Kaufman movie. I'm very mm, excited is. about that. I'm very, very excited about that. And it's good that she's already getting roles. That's what oh, good. yeah, yeah. She's already booked and busy. So, yeah. No, very excited about that. Uh, Giamatti. I think he is overdue. Yeah. I think he at least deserved the norm for size. <laughs> His only upcoming but... project is San Andreas, too. Oh god! Then why are they making another one of those? I forgot that there was a first one. Yeah. Why are they making a second one? Who thought that? Who greenlit that? With Paul Giamatti. Okay. No, it's throwing away money. <laughs> That's not making money. Uh, Greta Gerwig. Kind of, but she'll kind get of. One of I wouldn't say like I, fully overdue, but I have faith in her getting one in the next yeah. decade. Like, she's fairly new as far as, like, a director, but, mm. um, I don't know, it is wild that, like, as far as, I think it's, like, because you can technically say Nights and Weekends is her debut, but if you're saying, like, single debuts, like, or solo debuts, I should say, uh, she's yeah. the first filmmaker to have all three of their first movies get nominated for Best Picture. Well, there you go, that's impressive, yeah, because yeah, I think the only reason she feels overdue is because all three of them were Oscar players. Right. And she, and she was probably close to winning the screenplay for both Little Women and Barbie. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, like, arguably second, definitely for Little Women, arguably for Barbie. So, Barbie. yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Margot Robbie. Uh, uh, Again, I, I feel like it will come for her. Yeah, it, it's, it's not like a... Where I feel like it was like an only opportunity. I don't know. I, I think it'll probably be for producing. I don't know if I'll, I see Margot winning for acting, to be honest. I don't know why. No. No. I do feel sadly, and this is sad, that she will be one of the actresses that sort of fades a bit over time. I think she's very much an actress of the here and now. Yeah. So hopefully, if she's going to pick one up, she can do it fairly quickly. But that, yeah. that is I just mean, the way I, I, she I hope that she sticks around, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she'll have... Fully the she's already sort of backpedaling into producing roles, which is very good for her. She's probably making more money producing than she is acting. Yeah. I don't know. So, you know. But yeah. No, I don't know. 
I, I, I'd want her to get one. I mean, as they say, she could just pile up makeup. But I, I don't really see her to be one to stoop to that lo- no. level. <laughs> no, no like, exactly. She feels like someone who picks up projects. They're not always yeah, good projects. Yeah, I, I don't feel like she's Oscar Sometimes hungry, per se. she works with David Russell. But, yeah. um, and we all saw that turn out. But yeah. she does pick up projects and does what interests her. For sure, for sure. Also, someone saying PTA in chat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. They want it so bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I I mean, he is overdue at, at this point. I, I disagree. Personally. I don't think he's overdue. What has he done to. I don't know. I really like Maestro. A Star is Born is brilliant. I feel sure. like he should have got some. Glenn Close, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fine. I mean, that's just a career thing, really, isn't it? Like, yeah. People saying Yorgos and Villeneuve. Mm. Not sure about Villeneuve. He's really only had a couple that have broken Yeah, out. I'm not sure if I'm there with Villeneuve. I think that Yorgos is. Again, he's had a couple that have broken out. I feel like Yorgos might get there eventually. Yeah. Unless he takes a Wes Anderson route, which sure. he could now that, he, now that he's made a really successful Oscar player. I, Wes Anderson is an Oscar winner, you know? Yeah. Well, exactly, but it's not, you know, I, he wasn't there to collect it. He wasn't there to collect it. I'm still bitch about it. Like, if you're going to win your Oscar, be there to collect it. Yeah. Okay, I have some words in the chat. What has Bradley Cooper done that you're like, he absolutely deserved an Oscar for that? I don't know. I think he deserved to win in 2018. Simple as that. Surely there was somebody better that year. Sorry. No, I mean, there was Rami Malek, Vigo Mortensen, and Christian Bale. Who else was there that year? That was a bad lineup, too. <laughs> exactly. Like, that's Bradley Cooper ready. There would have been someone else in that lineup, obviously, to make five. I don't recall who it was. Um, Let me see. Surely there is somebody that I like better than Bradley Cooper. Surely. I would have given him my... I would have given him the win in 2018. Uh, I oh, even looking no. Past... Willem Dafoe at, at Eternity's Gate. And also, Willem Dafoe is more overdue, and he deserves an Oscar. William, Willem Dafoe should be on this list, yeah. Would you say more than Bradley Cooper? Is he more overdue? Yes, yeah. Okay, probably. cool. But and, I, I, and I would have given Willem Dafoe the win in 2018. Stop, wouldn't stop me giving Bradley Cooper. And yes, five of Bradley Cooper. Like, so, yeah, I, I feel like we're talking about Bradley Cooper now. Yeah, 12 nominations. Five of them are for producing. Most of them are not good movies. Uh, What's he produced? Like, Joker? Oh, uh, did he produce that? Okay. Yeah. Rachel Sennett is overdue. Thank you, chat. No, I'm not sure she's overdue yet. I mean, could happen for a nom this year. Of As 19- nineteen seventy-five, yeah. yeah, maybe, um, maybe. Some people I'm surprised to have not won anything: Ian McKellen, Samuel Jackson, Edward Norton, Willem Dafoe, um, mm. Edgar Wright. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Samuel Jackson, Edward Norton, Willem Dafoe. I think in particular are quite kind of insane when you think about it. Like how Samuel Jackson never like. I think it could happen mm. this year for the piano lesson, though. To be fair, I do it think could. That could happen. It could, unless the piano lesson is just not brilliant. And, like, even if his performance is very good, if a film around him just doesn't come yeah. together. Like, if the film's good, I think he is very much a contender. If the film's an Oscar player in any way, I think he could be winning. If not, yeah. I, I just don't see him winning for it. But any one of those possibilities is is possible. I'm like where Chad's going, Iowa Debris, overdue. Um, okay. uh, Aronofsky's overdue. I really loved Reckon for a Dream Black Swan. I feel now, and I feel he's come for an arc where he's, he was overdue maybe at one point, and now he's like, oh no, he did, you know, you know. <laughs> he's just fallen off so hard that you're he's like, maybe you didn't deserve it. He's an fallen Oscar off before. so hard that maybe he, he never did. <laughs> maybe he never did, yeah. Uh, no. Jax is Mike Feist overdue. Okay, I've seen him in like maybe one thing. <laughs> what else has he been in? <laughs> Zendaya is overdue. Uh, no, I for a I, nom maybe for a for, nom. I think she's overdue for a nom, not a win. Yeah, yeah. I I, I do think that. that she's gonna get there though eventually. To be honest, like that would just stick out. Diane Warren, no. <laughs> I as I said, as we've said, we need her to get a win so that he can stop and retire and no, because it's and funny to watch her lose every year. <sighs> but. It would be nice if we had some better songs in the in the best original song. Still I feel if they give sorry, her, but Oscar. they nominate her because she has connections. It, they, it would still happen even if she won. 
but she might be less desperate for it. She might just not do those kind of things. No, I don't know. Uh, I'd love to see Martin McDonough win director, but at least he's on screenplay. I know Thomas would agree with you. I'd love to see Martin McDonough win director as well. That would be a great win. <laughs> My love of Gary Brainer deserves Soon a lifetime achievement award. Yes, yes. Okay. What was? Oh, it was some random critics group that gave Woody Norman a lifetime achievement award one year. And then somebody quote tweeted it and was like, is he about to die? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? The way was so bad that Aronofsky deserves a negative Oscar. Real. Tom Cruise. Yeah, he's doing a movie with Indy mm. Redu now. Oh, is he? Okay. Mm. Yeah, he's not one of those. Trying to do his really Leo awesome. moment. Um, yeah. so she's overdue only according to herself. Hmm. Uh, loudly overdue. Amy Adams. Um, I don't know if I would ever give another win. Sure. I mean, I I don't Maybe. know if she's quite she's... there yet. No, no. She I, it feels I, like she's on the preface. Though, yeah, so. she just hasn't been in anything good recently. No, recently she, I've not seen her in anything good for a while. Yeah, Charles Melton overdue. Jack, you have to stop. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Stop with the Aronofsky hate. Well, was good. well, I guess you're entitled to your opinion. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I do think that she'll get there though. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. As sort of said, like she's recently done "Woman in the Window," "Disenchanted," and "Dear Evan Hansen." Like, come on. Oh god, <laughs> that's not a impressive. It's woman, not looking up. Uh, Michelle Williams. I would give her the win multiple times. But not for anything she was nominated for. <laughs> Again, she feels like Ricard someone movies, that. I'd Again, be happy she with Michelle like Williams' win. I think she's. Yeah. yeah. I think she deserves she one. I think she's a really good actress. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be happy with it. And yeah, she's doing another Todd Haynes, I think. Or no. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Yeah. Um, and that Benning. <sighs> I mean, I might have she... given her the win in 99. I feel like I've not seen her in that much stuff that yeah. would be worthy other than American Beauty. But I don't know. I can see the argument. There's no argument made. That's your a- Amy Adams was snubbed for Arrival. She was snubbed. She was snubbed. And that was bad. But I wouldn't have given her a win for that, I don't think. Would you still She's give very, Stone? very good. Yeah, I'd probably still give it to Stone. Yeah, I think I'd agree. Williams, Manchester by the Sea. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, like, absolutely. Carrie Mulligan, Saoirse Ronan. I don't know about them yet. I mean, I love Saoirse. I would give Saoirse the win once, if not twice. But I, I don't know if she's, you can quite call her overdue yet. I just realized Matt Damon. Yeah, Matt Damon has never won an acting Oscar, which is interesting. He's never, no. I but he has won writing. I would for an so. acting Oscar, though, to be fair. Um, No, the roles he does are not really oscar winning type roles that's not matt damon's yeah. sort of thing yeah paul dano i mean for a nomination sure <laughs> mm, mm, <laughs> never been nominated yeah. which is wild um, yeah it was wild. still wild that they went judd hirsch over yeah, paul dano if they went, wild like, that happened okay jack says benning robbed for captain marvel you're you're bordering on being unmodded again jack <laughs> that's what that's he's just testing us every week he comes in and just sees what he can get away with uh, Thomas, Thomas Newman. Newman. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I would have no problem. Uh, is this the article that Hilarious called Lily Gosden overdue? Yes, in fact, it is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. No, we, and we moved uh, past that one. We did move swiftly past that one. Yep. That yep. was it. Uh, ScarJo is good. another overdue actress. Uh, yeah. Hmm. She kind, of, I, she kind of just got absorbed in the Marvel sphere. I mean, but she did have the year with like Marriage Story and everything. Like, she did have Marriage Story. I wouldn't have given her the win for it, but yeah, yeah, I'd I be know, interested to hear more stuff. Them. Colin Farrell. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I could be there. Quite yet. I don't know if I'd be there quite yet. No, maybe not. Uh, okay, quietly overdue. Ruffalo. Ruffalo, I can see, and Ruffalo, yeah, to be honest, narrative. yeah. In like, the next. Things, I mean, he had spotlight. Like, yeah. 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 Ruffalo does. Yeah. Yeah. That's no. Saoirse Ronan as well. Saoirse Ronan. I mean, again, I, I feel like it might be a bit too early. Like, I need to see her get a couple more years, maybe. Uh, or just a couple more, like, strong films. But, like, I mean, 
everything that, like Lady Bird, Little Women, I think are both just phenomenal. I, I love her. I mean, Brooklyn. yeah, she's a phenomenal actress. Like, so. she, she's just a, an incredible actress. So, but she is one that I'm almost, I would be willing to put money on the fact she'll get one eventually. Within the next 10 years, to be within, honest. Like, exactly. I, I think it's coming. Yeah, I same. think it's coming. Yeah. Um, Defoe, yeah, I mentioned this. Absolutely. I don't understand how he doesn't have an Oscar yet. 100%. Mm. Like, mm. third one for Florida Project, I would have given him the win for uh, Addie Turnsy's Gate. Like, yeah, amazing actor. Again, with him, though, the problem is a lot of his roles aren't the kind of roles that would win. Yeah, just that's fundamentally, true. that's those are like, not the kind I, of characters. I, like, he plays. I thought he was the best performance in Poor Things. Like, um, I really liked his work there. I mean, okay, I outside kind of, just of Emma, Emma Stone. I kind of just think Emma Stone. Sorry, out, outside show, of really. Emma. Outside of Emma, I thought he was the best. Maybe then, maybe, yeah. I can, I can see that. I can see. Um, that. Andrew Garfield, one thousand percent reduced, should have won for Tick, Tick, Boom. Okay, agreed. oh, he should have won. He should have um, won. Should have yeah. won. I don't know if I would call him overdue, but absolutely should have an Oscar right now. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a good call, actually. Um, I give Defoe a win for a Lighthouse. Yeah, fair. No, he's excellent in that. Mm. But again, it's not the kind of role that would ever. Yeah. Ed Harris, most nominated currently. Yeah. I, I don't know. Eh. Yeah. I mean, he, he's seen much from recently. Yeah. I, I don't know if I call him overdue, though. Maybe, maybe. I mean, he's quietly overdue, according to this article, so... Yeah. Whatever quiet the overdue means. Gosling, Mulligan. Yeah, it's Gosling, it's just too Mulligan. early for both of them. Like, yeah. They're both yeah. Very good Weird actors. that Mulligan's already had this narrative attached to her, and Ronan as well. It's interesting. Whenever Carrie Mulligan or Saoirse Ronan are in something, it's always like, oh, this be the one that they win their Oscar I mean, for. Carrie Mulligan like, had that for her second okay. nomination. Like, Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. Um, The Grady. Okay, directors now. Mm-hmm. PTA, PTA, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. this is ridiculous. I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. PTA is probably my favorite. PTA and, like, Kubrick are my favorite of, like, the, like, director bro directors, if you want to call them that. <laughs> There's, sure. like, the film film bro directors. Like, I don't know, I put, like, Fincher and Tarantino and, like, Scorsese and Spielberg. And, like, I, I like, I mean, obviously, I adore Killer of Fire Moon, but, like, as a whole, Scorsese isn't always my thing. Um, but, like, of the film bro directors, I would say, yeah, PTA and Kubrick, like, PTA needs one. He really yeah. Needs PTA one. is so consistent. It's egregious across the board. Yeah, yeah. No, egregious that he doesn't have one. Uh, yeah, really excited about his next movie. Like mm. Leo, Sean Penn, Regina Hall, Tiana Taylor, Alana Haim. Also happy that Alana Haim's back in something. Like yeah, get her in more movies. She was phenomenal in uh, Liquor's Pizza. She was. She was. Yeah, because Cooper Hoffman's in SNL, right? Yeah, SNL nine. said, yeah, that's gonna be Cooper Hoffman, Gabriel Labelle, and Rachel Sennett. Mm. She's a fun so, cast, very fun cast. It'd be a very fun cast. Oh, yeah, neither of them. I've not seen much of them either, Liquid Pizza, which is a shame. Yeah. Yorgos. There's Yorgos. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I would say getting there. I'd say getting there. Getting sure. there. Getting there. I like, at least say. for writing. At least for writing, yeah. 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 Like the fair, Yeah, I don't know. Wes. Mm. I mean. He's. Can, one now, so one now. he's gone. Okay. I mean, yeah, Martin McDonough, there's like... Martin McDonough. Yeah, I do agree with this one. Wait, I do. Think... He's won. He won for writing and for no, not for writing for short film. Yeah, he hasn't won for it's writing. Done. No, he hasn't won for writing. Yeah, as much as he should have done. Well, um... yeah, I would have given him two Oscars for writing, probably at this point. See, in trades reported in 2021, his next one would have Oscar Isaac, Sam Rockwell, Christopher Walken, but we haven't heard much since. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I'd really call McDonough and Anderson overdue now, though. Like, No, since they won. Since they won. Uh, yeah. Like... Uh, hype for a new PTA in Baker. I assume you're saying Sean Baker in that case? Yes, 100%. 100%. Um, love Sean Baker. Uh, I can't see Yorgos ever building a consensus for picture director. Maybe for writing, Poor Things was the closest he'll get. Yeah, I can kind of see that. I can kind of see that. Didn't McDonough win screenplay for three billboards? Did he? Um, no, P.O. Really? won. No, I thought, yeah, Get Out and Call Me yeah, By yeah. Name were the winners. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. What is this yeah. list? I know Vulture wrote an article about the most overdue people for the Oscars, and we're reading it because we have nothing better to do with our time. Um, <laughs> Ridley Scott, 
Ridley Scott is probably overdue at this point. <laughs> Let's is be honest he? with ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Fincher, no. Yes, as well. Yes, definitely Fincher. No, yes, absolutely definitely. not. Absolutely yes. Not. Yes. I just Why did he not win for the social network? Because hmm? the movie's mid. No. No. Very much wrong. Very much wrong on that one. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> does Jamie Lee Curtis tear for our Hollywood veterans? Bassett, Shore, Ford. Yeah, I mean, Harrison Ford should have an Oscar. Yeah. Alfred Woodard, okay. Hugh Grant. Hugh, I don't imagine Hugh Grant's getting an Oscar anytime soon. John Goodman. <laughs> given the role he I don't know. Donald Sutherland, Meg Ryan. Samuel Jackson, for sure. Mm. I Meg Ryan and, as well. Yeah, I could probably, probably. Interesting. Fascinating list. Fascinating oh. list. Wild opened it up with Lily Gladstone. You guys know how much mm, I that's love a bold Lily Gladstone. Way. That's the way to get clicked. That's the way yeah. to get You know I love Lily Gladstone, but yeah. Um, anything else? Nicholas Cage said he was never paid for Oscar winning only. Was, that's funny. Um, mm. What's this? New images of Walking Phoenix and set of Eddington? Okay. Fascinating. Yeah, that's the thing. I am interested to see what Joaquin does with Ari Aster again. Yeah, absolutely. Like... I don't want to see Joaquin and Ridley Scott work together again after Napoleon, to be honest. But yeah, Joaquin and, and Ari Aster, I, I do want to. I do want to see it. Yeah, and yeah, this is the Make a Waffle screening, March twenty eighth. Cool. So yeah, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Um, we can probably move into our tier list now, though. Yeah, let's move on to our tier list. But yeah, Samuel Jackson win coming this year potentially. I think so. I I'm exactly. kind of leaning in that yeah. direction as of now with piano lesson. Uh, discuss Timmy as Bob Dylan. Um, oh, yeah. We do have pics of, of Timmy as Bob Dylan. I can actually pull those up. One second. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, what's him to say? Hugh Grant for Wonka Sweep. <laughs> Was that Jack so wild that he did that. Probably not, but... Yeah. No, okay. I do like Hugh Grant, but I don't, think he's, I don't think he's ever winning an Oscar, to be honest. No, no. Is going to be released late, late December for uh, for this? Interesting. Okay, so here he is. Um, people are like, this is him in costume. <laughs> so I thought it was funny. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's going to be interesting. A yeah, director. I mean, I really don't know enough about Bob Dylan to really, you know, comment that much. Um, but I'm always excited for the next Timothy Chalamet project. It's always an event. I, I like Timmy a lot. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I like Bob Dylan for the most part as a, as a songwriter. Um, I'm not too familiar with his life. I think Mangold's just a very, uh, like just bang average filmmaker in the grand scheme of things. Just always serviceable. Like you're always going to get a solid film, but I, I, I feel like he rarely makes something like well, I would heavily beg to differ on that one, Wait, given what? that he made Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which was far <laughs> from bang average. Far Sorry. from bang average. Okay. Aggressively yeah. terrible. Aggressively terrible is the word you're looking for. But then he made Ford vs. Ferrari, which I really, really love. So, yeah. I think, I think, uh, I yeah, I, I do hate Indiana Jones. The rest of his movies are pretty bang average. Yeah. He did that Wolverine as well, didn't he? That was bad. Logan was good. Again, I feel like he's yeah. a bit nebulous. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, from the uh, director of Oscar-nominated Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom. Yeah. Uh, I hope it's in the same vein as Inside Lewin Davis. Yeah. No, I hope. Could We're speaking fun. of, by the way. I don't think Oscar Isaac, Isaac overdue. Do that, Oscar, Oscar Isaac is a good show. For a nomination, yeah, at show. least. He's never mm. been nominated, I don't think. Yeah. I don't trust Mangle to do Inside Lewin Davis. I think it will yeah, just no, be a pretty stand Yeah. 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 It's going to be a star vehicle for Timothy Chalamet and probably yeah. not much else. I mean, I'd I'm surprised Timothy yeah. Chalamet wasn't in that article, to be fair. I wouldn't call him overdue, but people would. People would. People would. I don't know what you'd have given it to him for, though, really. Yeah. He did direct Girl Interrupted. I do kind of like Girl Interrupted. I oh, I've not like seen it. Girl Interrupted. Yeah, that was his, what, probably his, one of his first ones. Yeah, yeah. Hugh Jackman overdue? Not after this one. Um... No, that was yeah, that was his Oscar play. That, wasn't that it? was his that was his Darren Aronofsky moment where it just went yeah. from like, oh good to nope. 
went um, very wrong. And he wasn't really to blame. Yeah. But it was not it was not a good look for any of them in the film. Anthony Hopkins even <laughs> you weren't very good, Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people in that film were half hearted at best. <laughs> and where they weren't, they were again aggressively awful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh only Jack says only one person named Oscar has won an Oscar. I assume you're gonna tell us who that is, Jack. Hopefully. <laughs> We just leave us in the anticlimax. Yeah, just just gonna leave us right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, he directed Walk the Line that got recent Oscar. I forgot he directed that. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I I don't know. It'll be interesting if it does end up coming out. Maybe it's just studio stuff that doesn't work for him. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Because it it it'll, it will be interesting. Um, if it does come out this year, because like he could have like a compounding narrative between that and uh and uh dune and he yeah. probably gets nominated for the the bob dylan movie but yeah um i could definitely see that i mean it could easily compound to a nomination um but but end up anyway jack says he doesn't know who it is fuck off okay <laughs> I... <laughs> uh okay uh let's look at the tier list let's do this tier list yes cool so here's our tier list no, oh, let me slide that over so that we can actually see it. So this is just yeah, the one that yeah. Thomas found. Me too, me too. Oh, yeah, Thomas needs to yeah, see it. So this is just the tier list that Thomas found. And I was not happy with the phrasing on this. I feel it's very pointed. I think it's correct. I'm fine I with the I think we have to change it. We have to change it. Because that's not where I would, that's not close to where I'd put it. I don't know. I don't and know. don't call on chat here because chat will agree with you. And no, I, no, no, no. Book deserves not... here. Okay, I don't want to call this God tier though. No. Let's call it amazing. Yeah. God tier with the Put all timer. May as well. All timer, sure. All time. Er. Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, green book. It's green. I think that's okay. No, but it's not because tier, right. Okay. Right. No, I'm fine keeping the green book tier there, but green book's not going in the green book tier then. How about that? We'll talk. We can keep it there for your satisfaction. We'll talk. But Green Book won't go in it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, also, someone says Oscar Hammerstein the second is the only person. A lyricist. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, also, it had Lord of the Rings on here for some reason, which is not in the last in 20 years. last 20 so, years, but... Yep, every Best Picture winner last 20 years, starting with Million Dollar Baby, which I would put somewhere between okay and bad. I'd go great for this. I'd go great. All-timer? No, no. Great. Great is not... Oh, we, sorry, we have good. Sorry, I was reading good wrong. Good. Okay. I go. can go in okay, then. Um, I mean, I'd put it towards the top of good. We can we can throw in okay. Uh, it's such an emotionally charged film, this one. I really think Hilary uh, Swank... I think it's boring. I think Hilary Swank gives one of the best best actress winners before. Like, she'd be... Really? If I was creating, like, a list of maybe... If I was to take all the winners and make a nomination of five of the winners, she'd definitely be in it. She'd be pushing, pushing to be my favorite best actor of all time. It does ride a little bit on that performance in itself, though. I will grant you, there are parts of this film that are quite slow, <laughs> but it is a very emotional film. I just thought it was flat. I don't know. Lord of the Rings won in two thousand four. I mean, we can count Lord of the Rings, I guess. It can just yeah, be twenty one sure. movies. Why not? Exactly. Why not? Yeah. I know. I'd put it okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm I thought fine we were going to do early I'm Oscar okay. predictions. Uh, I mean, we might talk when, about it for a little bit, but I think, probably yeah. Wednesday. I think Wednesday. I left the title as that, but... Oh. Uh, I think... Well, I, I left it initially, and then I changed it, but... Cool. For some of you, it might still say that, so I don't know. But yeah, Wednesday is when we'll do this. Uh, strongest I've disagreed? Yeah, I don't um, know. It's just... it's. Million Dollar Baby goes in bad speaker truth. I just I don't think it's that good of a movie. I think it's just fine. I think it's just fine. So I think it's great. I think are... Clint Eastwood between two thousand and three and two thousand and four was just on something that he just on a different level. <laughs> and then ever since and most of the previous stuff are just not I don't know what he was doing in those two years, but he just it, like it was took working for him. Cocaine for those couple of years. Yeah. Because I love Mystic River and I love Million Dollar Baby. Yeah. Uh Okay, Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Full timer. Whack it up there. Come on. You know it's full timer it, win. We can put it in good. Good, okay. I I'm throw it in okay, so we can okay. put it in good. Okay, for the culmination of the second British trilogy of all time, 
and I think it's the best in the trilogy, so I'm glad they did I'm wait. Glad, okay, I am glad that I've swayed you to know before trilogy is the best trilogy of all time. Well, I was only not saying that because I hadn't seen the third one yet, you know. <laughs> you didn't sway me, I just needed to watch the third one. Because <laughs> um, I couldn't call it the best trilogy of all time with only seeing two films. Sure. Obviously, it was going to end up being the best trilogy of all time. That was never in the question. Yeah. I just needed to <laughs> finish it out first, it. yeah. Exactly. But yes, no. What's there to say about Lord of the Rings that hasn't already been said? What an awesome film. What a brilliant franchise. That was good franchise filmmaking. That was when they were making good franchise films. They're just a bit dull. Okay, well, again. It's impressive. Again, I, just, I don't know. Yeah. I like it better than Dune 2. <laughs> so was that. There you go. Good. Uh, Crash Green Book here. <laughs> um, I mean, I'd probably go bad personally, but it's it it's the weakest in here. Yes, it, it's definitely the weakest in this lineup. So if anything's yep. going in Green Book, then yeah. Sure. sure. Uh, I don't that, aggressively hate it. A lot of people aggressively, I aggressively, aggressively hate, hate it. This film. I don't aggressively hate it. I just think it's quite dull. And it's just so tarnished by the fact that it beat Brokeback Mountain. It beat, bro- yeah. How did it beat Brokeback Mountain? And to be fair, Mountain? I don't even think Brokeback is, like, incredible. I think Brokeback oh, is a I little bit Brokeback. overrated. I, I think it's a little bit overrated. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, there's but no still, it. it's, just, it's just dull. It's it's melodramatic and, and dull, this film. So, yeah. Yep. Opinions on t- the casting of the Taylor Swift biopic. Uh, I don't know. Sadie Sink? I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'll leave, I'll leave the Taylor Swift fan casting <laughs> to, the, to the Taylor Swift expert. <laughs> don't don't call me a Taylor Swift expert. God. I yeah, just like You are, though. You are. Um, I think the film should be directed by Martin McDonough. Can I say that? And that makes sense. Because that, they are friends. Honestly, they are friends, I'd be exactly. down for a Martin McDonough like, Taylor Let's Swift. have a Martin McDonough written. Martin McDonough directed. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be the most I'd get you into Taylor Swift. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a Martin McDonough vibe. But... You'd really be more excited about it than I do. Really. I, would, I would be more excited about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that would be my fan casting. Oh, she says, no, Trevor, it's me. I'm cast. Congratulations, Kira. Um, no. <laughs> uh, departed. Uh, okay. Another all-timer. Another all-timer, I think. I guess it's going in good. This is okay. another movie that I think is just fine. It's a bit dull. I'm really glad Scorsese did win for this. I would have given him the win in 1990 as well. I think he would have deserved to win for Goodfellas. But I'm not mad that, in my opinion, his best film, probably a fairly controversial take, uh, but it is his best film. I think it's his most easy, his most watchable, easy, his most well-constructed in terms of plot mm-hmm. narrative-wise. And so quotable, so funny. Yeah, like, it, it's a funny film. But a lot of people forget that. But it's also dark and it takes you on a real ride it's a road yeah i don't know i i think it's like i i don't really like the structure of it um i think it's like kind of overplayed and i i don't think that the um the editing like holds the tension that well at least for me i don't Uh, know i think it's punchy it's a very punchy film it feels like a slap across the face as a film but in like a good way you know i like that's like the celebration Sure, but I think this is adjacent to that kind of feeling as well. I very much say, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Scorsese's best is like silence in Killers of the Flower Moon and like uh, After Hours. And... Yeah, yeah. All the ones that, you know, no one really talks about these days, except Killers, obviously. But we'll see how Killers last. And... I don't know. Sure. I'd put it okay. We can put it in good, though. Cool. Uh, Age of Innocence, I still need to see, but I feel like that'll be my best. Oh, we got five dollars. I will chuck all the money at you. I can. You will put Lord of the Rings in all timer, the good yes. franchise. Yes, for, for the five dollars. Come on, come on. It's got to go in all timer now. Thank you, whoever that was. I can be bought. I got a Yes, you can be bought easily. You're cheap. You're cheap. But no, brilliant. Cool. This is looking better already. Okay, no country for old men. Uh, good. I would, I would say good as well. Over I mean, we'll see, we'll see how littered that uh, one gets. Not over the departed. No, 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 God no. Because I feel like if I was trying to do it evenly in my mind, it would fall into okay. I'd basically what I'm saying is I put it on the lower end of good, but I still think it would probably belong there. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I like it. I'm not obsessed with it, but I, I do think it's a very good movie. I do think it's a very good movie. A taxi Driver as well, as I would say. Taxi Driver is a very, very good film. Yes, I and mean, that's like the one that we can agree on. As, as yeah, in. yeah, we, we both best. love Taxi Driver. For me, <laughs> Goodfellas, The Departed, Taxi Driver, Mean Streets, and Wolf of Wall Street. 
would have been yeah, like you named one quickly ratted off. That's crazy. Five. Exactly. The taxi driver's like the only one we agree on. But. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Slumdog Millionaire. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not... It, the thing is, is the way these two the phrase, it's not bad, but it's one of the weaker ones on here, I feel. I feel the framing device just gets kind of annoying after a while of... Oh, now we're doing this question. Okay. Okay, Danny Boyle. It's a clever screenplay. Sure. Um, yeah. But a lot of it's quite fun. That's a good thing. A lot of it, a lot of the film is quite fun. Um, so, yeah, I, I'd go okay. I'd go okay. There we go. Um, you know, I know you have very vehement problems with this. I I'd probably put this in bad sort of okay, and this is the thing with the sales as well. When I say a bad best picture winner, I don't mean a bad film. I don't necessarily think this is a bad film, um, but compared to the rest of them, I I, I, I think the Hurt Locker is one of the worst movies ever made. I hate this I movie with a burning passion. It is one incredibly boring, and it is two like government funded military propaganda uh to excuse like just the acts of torture by the united states government fuck this i movie. really i don't i don't know if it's entirely i think american sniper is the one that i know uh, american, american sniper is zero dark 30 and the hurt locker i assume you'd call them like the holy trinity of yeah <laughs> i mean kind of films. sorry her zero dark 30 does more of that and i think this is the best of them sure like, quite we're a dream book yeah It just, I don't know. It just, it does. I just, I hate. I don't know. This government funded military. Program, it's just fuck that. I don't think this. I don't think this is nearly on the. It's same not the worst like defender. Stuff. It's not the worst defender. That was some yeah. of my hatred for Zero Dark Thirty coming out in that moment. Exactly. This is just this. This is just a film that depicts the military in a positive light. I don't think that's anti military I don't think that's sure. necessarily. You put it in, in green book. You put it in yeah, green book. Exactly. It's not. It's not problematic in terms of in terms of at least how i was reading the film it was just a film that was positive about the military which is fine but you know i'll get rid of the bottom tier for now yes i don't think i don't think anybody else is going in that bottom tier. king speech uh bad. uh this is uh yeah bad Cl- closing it on green book if we're comparing it to the rest of them it's I, again this is like crash like why over the social network that still bugs me to this day. Sure, but. sure. I I will say yes. It is it is far. It is better than Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah, it was better than Zero Dark Thirty, but I just I do have a lot of problems with Hurt Locker. Same reason I hate Top Gun Maverick. Agreed. Um, I Top Gun Maverick. I didn't feel that until the, there was a one bit in Top Gun Maverick where they started gloating about how many people they killed. That was yeah. a bit where I was like. Uh, you really fucking ruined it. The like the last frame of the film, you just <laughs> had to do something to ruin it a bit. Yeah. Other than that, I really was in. I was really on board with talking about Brick, but yeah, kind of just fooled at that last circle there. Sure. Uh, but yeah, the King's Speech is just. It, this is another one. It's just dull. Like genuinely, I just found it to be a dry England it's very dry. English period piece. I don't. I don't know why this film won Best Picture. I don't know why. I I I, re- I don't like most of these. Like the Oscars and okay. I just don't vibe typically. Yeah, they have recently though. They've been getting better. Recent, yeah, they've still. been getting better. They have been getting better. Yeah. Uh, the artist, I throw an okay. Uh, compared to the rest of them, I'd lean bad. I don't, I don't think it's great, but it, it is an okay film. We put a bottom it's of an okay. okay. I, yeah. I have fun with it. I, I don't think it's anything special, but it's fine. I, it's really, it's really just on the concept. I feel I don't know if it yeah. necessarily quite builds on the concept in any way. No, but it's an interesting film to watch. It just it like it, it, it so, hits the yeah. novelty like button in like two thousand exactly. It just exactly it doesn't, it doesn't age do anything at all. That. Like it isn't no. in the same way that like mm. I like Mank a lot. I think it might actually be David Fincher's best movie. <laughs> Genuinely, that movie isn't going to age well at all though. Like people aren't going to care. No, no. So I uh, yeah I don't know I don't know. Um, Twelve Years a Slave. Uh, I think it's I'd really good. Great. I'd, yeah, I'd go good. Sorry, I keep forgetting it's not. It's good, not great. <laughs> I'd um, love a good to be honest. 
I really like this movie. Sure. I can we switch to Departed and No Country for Old Men, please? Sure. Thank you. Um, but yes, I'm fine with Tony totally say going to the top of good. Um, I would I mean, also, for the record, I would have like amazing. this, but but it's not. No, 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 no. We were bought Wait, for five dollars. Great up to the top. And no, we weren't. If you'd bought, like we to were. buy us for more money, <laughs> no, they donated because of our good takes, and in that regard, it was our good take on Lord of the Rings being an all-timer winner. Yes, it is one of the best. Sure. Um, it's, it's honestly like top five winner of all time. I think I put it top insane. three. I that's, think I put it top two. That's ridiculous, Thomas. I think it's my second favorite winner of all time. Personally, maybe third. Maybe third. Insert like the like the bitch. You better be joking. Like, come on. I mean, yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I just. You just got to be involved in the franchise. If you just fall in love with the franchise, get transported into the world, you're in. You're in. And it's okay, thank an amazing you. experience. Um, okay. Thank you. Bad. I honestly probably yeah bad compared to the rest of them. Like it's it's, just, it's really it's nothing really special. It doesn't do anything. It's very baity. Yeah. Like I remember watching obviously years after it won, just thinking, um, what? <laughs> <laughs> this one really confuses me how it ended up winning like why did that win it's just it's such a nothing movie yeah it kind of leaves your brain as soon as it ends it yeah but it's not badly made there's nothing inherently bad about it it's just very forgettable it's probably the most forgettable in this absolutely 20 like there's just and mind. i think it goes nicely with king's speech in there because just like, yeah they just don't care at all about any yeah i agree amor should have won 100 percent yeah, they would definitely better stuff. <laughs> Jack. I watched Lord of the Rings for the first time by playing the Lego games. <laughs> okay. Slightly different experience. Slightly different experience. But fair Did you enough. log it on Letterboxd? Probably, you probably could log some of those things. An extra five for Thomas having better taste today. <laughs> Sorry, Trevor. Maybe next time Lord of the Rings give me goosebumps every time. Good. Indeed, well, indeed, as it should, especially the final one. As I said, I'm so glad it won for the final one. A lot of people say Two Towers. I think Fellowship is very underrated, but Return of the King for my money is just... It's, I, I don't it's, think it's a bad movie. It's a solid three-star movie. I just don't understand it being, like, a best-of-all-time type of thing. Well, I think we disagree to disagree. As I say, second best best picture winner of all time. Anyways, the first one, the, my first favourite. So thank you. <laughs> the first one, unfortunately, isn't in the 20 year. Yeah, and that would obviously be American Beauty, which is probably a very controversial take. I know no one agrees. I know no as, one agrees with that. As soon as you no can one be possible, there. find the bridge and then have the bridge no longer under you. I'm sure I'm probably one of like maybe 20 people max that have the opinion that American Beauty is one of the best. It is the best best picture one of all time. But that's ridiculous. You know. What like, is your favorite? Would you say? Out of uh, we're gonna get to it in like. Two oh, we're still things. getting to it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, it is that one. Okay, cool. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I think this was all-time or an Oscar Best Picture, not all-time. Yeah. yeah. Jack says, I've, on I've, I've only seen Indy 4 and 5, but I've, ex I've just experienced 1 through 3 through the Lego games. Jack. You can't... Jack, you're killing me here. I don't... Like Jack is, Those Jack films is, don't exist. Jack is going to LA to be an actor. Yeah. Those films don't exist. I mean four <laughs> is okay. Like Jack, how are you how are you like going to the never and just not watching movies? Oh my god. Why are those the only two you've seen? No one that's not normal. That's not normal. <laughs> At least watch the first one. And then skip Temple of Doom. If you're not that interested in the franchise, sure. Skip Temple of Doom. No one's going to kill you. But then watch the third one. And then you're done. And then you don't need to like watch one and three. And, and Why like, have this, you watched this five? This should be something that I don't like. But like one and three are genuinely great movies. Yeah. Like Last Crusade, I think, is like brilliant. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm... I'm, I'm I think you've just, you've just like given Gage. Thomas like massive mental damage. Who's seen Indiana Jones 5? But not Indiana Jones 1. Who's done that to themselves? <laughs> I feel bad. I think I think he needs help. It says Cape Blanchard is in four was enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Anyway. Oh, God. Anyway, should we move on? Should we move on? Move on to Birdman. I have very mixed feelings about this movie. I think. I it's... can't. Yeah, I have mixed feelings. I think it's quite pretentious. I think it's. Words. I think it's like obnoxiously pretentious, but it's like quite is but... very fun. It is. It's In very yeah. Way. I throw it towards the top of okay. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm leaning as well. That is kind of where I'm leaning. Like here? Yeah. Sure. Cool. Yeah, I, I know. Like, it's it's fun for what it is. But just uh, the ending's really annoying. <laughs> yeah, the ending thinks it's clever. And, yeah. It's a film that knows it's, it's, it's going to win Best Picture. Is yeah, what it feels and like it, 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 it wants to be like... I don't know. It, it it wants to have like random people who like post like ten paragraph long essays on Reddit to like mm. fall in love with it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's I a film like that it. wants an ending explained video. Maybe exactly. Yes. And then and then they want to that ending explained video to be wrong so they can prove how actually mm-hmm. it was a lot more intelligent than that. And that was just you know that's just simple to. And I was to say, know? it's still good. All of this is to say it's still quite fun to watch. It's still yeah. quite fun. But it's just, it's annoying. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like I feel about this, like, how a lot of people feel about um, Bardo, which has actually grown on me a lot. And, like, I actually do quite like Bardo. Like, I, I think Bardo's up there for yeah. injury, too. It's a film where I can forgive those flaws. They're not actively detracting from the film sure. that much. They're just kind of there. Would you agree with me that, that Bardo's better than Birdman? No, no, I think Birdman is so is so much more tightly structured. Bardo, I liked a lot of what Bardo was doing. It sure. got lost in itself. Birdman, <laughs> Birdman's a film that knew what it wanted to be, and it did that. And sure. I didn't like all of what it was trying to be. Bardo was a film that I kind of liked most of it, but it just got lost in itself. That's fair. That's fair. They're quite opposite films in my mind. Interesting. Yeah, no, I can see that. I can see that for sure. Uh, Spotlight, also okay. I mean, it's, it's relatively I did flat. great. I'd go great. I don't. I don't think it's flat. I don't think it's flat. I think it's the best. I, I'm fine with going. Like I'm not going to argue against good here. I I, I don't really have any yeah. problems with it. I just it isn't my type of film. No, no, that is true. It's very narrative driven. It's very form driven. It's very. Um, but I think those aspects were all done pretty well. I think it's a very sure. engaging film. It's a film that has a surprising amount of rewatchability, which I wouldn't expect. But I've seen the film about three times now, probably. Sure. And. It still works every time. It still works every time. For sure. So. Yeah. Someone said Revenant, oh, Revenant, then Birdman, then Bardo. I would have the exact opposite order. Bardo, then Birdman. I would Bardo. go Birdman, Bardo, Revenant. I yeah. think Revenant is a quite steep drop off. I, I don't yeah, think Revenant's Revenant is bad. Really <laughs> I don't. Yeah. yeah. Spotlight is a Hallmark movie. That's a. That's very harsh. That's I mean, v- there's, one, there's one that I'll, on this list that I'll grant you could call a Hallmark film. I wouldn't. <laughs> But I'll grant it. Spotlight. Well, I'm not how sure. you described Argo. I could okay. see that. I could. I could that. see that. I'm not thing. passionate about Spotlight, thing. but if you want to put it in good, I'm fine with it. Like, um, and I think it's better. Like, I do think it's better than the four that we have in OK. It's a, exactly. I do think it's the best of that. I mean, it's a, we've got a lot left that are looking like it. They will end up in those tiers. So yeah. maybe we can keep it in OK. Uh, but I put it in good personally, so if we want to keep it there, I'm yeah. very happy to keep it. Okay, so here's the best Best Picture winner of all time. And we've lost Thomas for it. Sick. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. But no, yeah, I, I think 100% Moonlight is just it. Yeah, we fully lost Thomas. I know. I I absolutely love Moonlight. It was like borderline life changing. Um, here's Thomas. Thomas is back. Hello, I'm back. I think I've clocked onto a theory. I think my Wi-Fi provider shuts off a Wi-Fi at two thirty for like interesting a little bit because that always happens around this time. It just will shut off for like a minute. And I don't know why that is. Interesting. But, Homophobic. We brought up La La Land. Yeah, exactly. Not La La Land. But either Moonlight. way, and Moonlight. Moonlight is straight up in there all time. And this was the thing. This was why I was debating whether Lord of the Rings is the second best or the third best. Because Moonlight's the other one that's Yeah. I mean, about Moonlight's there. just incredible. Like, it's just, it's so textured. It's so rich. It's like the emotional ride that you go on, especially the first time you watch it. I mean, mm. if you give yourself over to that film, it will like, I mean, it will destroy you emotionally. 
and uh i mean yeah like i said it's just life-changing yeah and i'll be perpetually excited for whatever barry jenkins ever releases yeah, like, I don't for the rest of time like, just knowing my trust him, and respect forever like, charlotte wells i don't yeah, care for, uh, oh yeah for giving charlotte wells money yeah, yeah i don't care how far you agree like you've <laughs> you produced after sun you made moonlight you're sold in my book yeah, no, uh, yeah, Moonlight's just brilliant, I mean, it changed the way that I see structure, it changed the way that I see writing, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the way it all seamlessly, it's such a broad story, but all three elements are so linked together, and yeah. so fit perfectly, should just create this absolute, it's just brilliant. tapestry it's of ideas brilliant. and stuff, whilst also being, it's it's also not one of those films that, that doesn't have a plot, it does have a plot, and it's it's a very engaging film. Like it is one that sort of actively allows you to be engaged in it. Yeah. Just a yep. brilliant, brilliant all time win. Absolutely. No question in my book. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, Oh, we got money. We got money for moonfall fan. Okay. My turn. Put Birdman up a tier in a, 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 about, or I'm assuming that means above spotlight is what you're saying. Sure. I'll do that for $5. Yeah. <laughs> we are just being bought to ship. We are it. just being bought here. Sure. Is um, that what you want? I mean, we could just do a do. No, actually, let's not do a direct switch and put a spotlight down one. I like the balance of having four in each tip, but anyway, we can figure out the balance stuff later. That was just aesthetic value. Um, yeah, that's fine. Birdman, like as I say, it's got its problems, but I, I'd not. I, I would rewatch him. I would rewatch him. Yeah, I, I'm fine with that. Shape, of, with that. shape of water, on the other hand. Shape of Water, okay, I, I have very mixed feelings about this, like, I, I think it's, it's good in spirit, I know, it's, it's how I feel about a lot of Del Toro movies, in that, like, and I think I've said this before, I would love to, like, talk with Del Toro about cinema and about his films, but I don't really care for, like, watching his films. Yeah, yeah, it's a film where I can see the vision, I can tell the hearts in the right place, it's just not my personal thing, like, yep, same. Del Toro's films are just not, it's a rare thing that's just kind of neither of our personal thing. That's mm, very few yeah. and far between. Yeah. Especially for like Oscar no. type movies. Yeah. For sure. But it's very ethereal. It's very, yeah. And it's just not like it's fairy tale kind As of thing. As that one Twitter user would say, it's urethral. Um... <laughs> urethral. Yeah. But it's just not, it's not my kind of thing. A romance story for the fish. I'll be honest. Um, but it's not like, bad. I'd love to see somebody really. like Lynch tackle this. I don't think that I think that Del Toro's tried to strike this line that was like in between being like very classical and like acceptable and weird, and I just I think it gets stuck somewhere in there where it doesn't entirely work. Like I would love to see someone like Lynch or Cronenberg take this on, or like yeah. Del Toro, no, like somebody somebody who's willing to go like body horror with it and just go like really weird and out of the box with it. And like it definitely would have wouldn't have won Best Picture, but I think that the film would have been. Which is a similar problem I have with a film like Pan's Labyrinth as well sure. from him, where I think, you know, when you've got the human drama elements, they're not fleshed out enough because they're juxtaposed with the horror fantasy elements. And it's sure. just, you're trying to do these two separate things and they're not quite point, coming feel, together. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He's not quite ever able to find the right tone. That was also the problem with uh, his Pinocchio as well. I don't think I ever found it's a consistent tone, what it was trying to be. Sometimes yeah. it was dealing with death and sometimes it was a very childish thing. Like, okay. Sure, sure. So, uh, I'd, so I'd, yeah. I'd lean for bad, but just in terms of what we've I, got. I would in, also, I good. yeah, in terms in of what we have, I, I'd lean bad, but like yeah. top of bad. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Um, also, I you said, uh, wait, I just realized because I have to leave Where's Gladiator, Beautiful Mind in Chicago. Um, we were just doing last 20 years, but like, to be honest, we could just do them and just we make just 21st do century. Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to just do them? Sure. Let's just do them. Maybe. Okay. May as well. Cool. I will just do them. Let me just, uh, add those images. And Thomas, you can start your defensive green book. <laughs> I can start my defensive green book. Good. Uh, um, okay. Here we go. Uh, well, basically Trevor's going to try and push the green book to be in green book tier. This might make sense on paper. However, <laughs> wrong, wrong, not true. Green Book belongs in the OK tier. Green Book is not a terrible film. Is its handling of race very complex or nuanced? No. Is it problematic in doing so? Eh. Um, is it a fucking Hallmark movie? Is it a Hallmark movie? 
No, it's better than a Hallmark movie. Definitely. It's a film that's very comforting. It's a film about friendship more than it is about race. Cool. It's not, a, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's dealing with both stuff in a, it's, the problem is, the reason people don't like the film is because it's dealing with this stuff and it's not very subtle in doing it. It's not a very subtle film. It is, it wears its heart on its chest. It really does. That is the good thing. <laughs> I respect it for wearing its heart on its on its chest. So and Hitler wears his I heart really on his chest like... and he's very passionate. Is that a good thing? No, no, we're not we're not comparing Green Book to Hitler. <laughs> sorry, I'm not uh, making a moral. Not... Sorry, for the record, I'm not making a moral equivalence between Green Book and Hitler. I think that's kind of what you were doing, but um, I think that is worthy of it being pushed above anyway. Right, so that's one tier we've got it up. How far can we go here? I love Mahershala Ali. I love Viggo Mortensen. I love them together. I love the dynamic that they have with one another. It's it's really the core of the film. It's really the only reason the film works to any extent. I'll, I'll grant it that. It is really just this core relationship. But I just find their friendship so endearing to uh, see it develop, see it grow. And therefore, yeah, I mean, I'm not arguing it's good. I'm not arguing it's all time. I'm simply arguing it is an okay film that doesn't deserve the hate it receives so make of that what you I'll will put it i, I would put it at that. the bottom of green book tier no 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 what you think it's worse than <laughs> then okay the high look is militaristic propaganda you think it's worse than militaristic propaganda going on that line do you really think that sorry someone in chat zone of interest with a garden next to the theater playing green book i'm so sorry that's really bad. We can't be saying mm. things like that. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> it's quite funny. Um, okay. Yeah. See, it's just such a... I, it's got so much hate that it's just hard to defend without looking like a racist. So... Yeah, so maybe don't defend it. <laughs> but it's not. Do it's I need to bring up your family history of, of dealing with no, the slave trade? No. No, let's not. Let's cut that one out. So Thomas is great, Grant. No, 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 no. We don't need to go there. Um, we don't need to go. There. <laughs> not... It's not my side of the family anyway. It's different. Adjacent. Mm, it sounds like you're trying to make excuses there. I... <laughs> Distantly related. Anyway, Green Book belongs in OK. Well, we're putting Where it we bad, putting? Max. Put it bottom of bad then. Sure. Sure. I'll accept that. It's not in the green book too. It's not crash. That just looks really funny. <laughs> yeah, but that's its rightful place. Good. I'm glad we got there. Uh, so what I'm hearing is that Green Book is Thomas's favorite film. When I met Thomas, Thomas had like Green Book and Bohemian Rhapsody at four and a half. I was thirteen. <laughs> Fourteen, maybe. <laughs> it was a long time ago. I don't think I'd seen a Wes Anderson film at that point. That's, you know, the benchmark of most people of, oh, you're into film. I'd not seen one yet. I didn't have Letterbox at that point in time. Sure. Bear that in mind. And I've changed on Bohemian Rhapsody. You have changed on Bohemian Rhapsody. You've got less homophobic. In fairness, in fairness, in <laughs> fairness. I'd only seen that film once in a cinema, and I still won't deny that that film is a, it's watchable, and it's fun, and it's engaging. And I wasn't thinking about the film on a deeper level at that point in time. So I can't be blamed for thinking Bohemian Rhapsody was good when I saw it for the first time in a cinema. <laughs> That's not on me. I've Thomas seen Green Book more it's than obvious. once. I don't know. I think, Chats, uh, you really damaged your reputation here. I think I got $5 early for having a good taste. So, <laughs> you know. So is Green Book in the same tier as Shape of Water and even argue is actually a crime? I would agree. No. No. But Thomas I mean, thinks get... it should be higher than them. Let's let's keep that in mind. Thomas thinks that Green Book yeah. should be up in the okay tier. I think Green Book is a middling best picture winner. So, I mean, if you really don't, if you don't want it on the same tier, we can add another tier. That's <laughs> that's not good, the Green Book tier. If anyone wants to give $5 <laughs> to, put, to put Green Book in the Green Book tier. No, no, no. No, just put in a different tier that's not called, that's not called Green Book. So you've still got the Green Book tier. Wait, that's that actually Green really Book. funny. But just a different tier entirely. <laughs> Wait, okay. Add a room below. Yeah. Let's just call this the crash tier. <laughs> the crash tier, yeah. 
Perfect. Cool. Good. No. Oh, perfect. There we go. That looks like a good a good tier list to me. Yep, pretty much. Well, <laughs> We're so fucking stupid. Okay. <laughs> so stupid. Um, Gladiator. Gladiator. Bad. Oh, how, how, this one's fine. My turn. It's no, it's not bad. It's not bad. No, it's okay. this movie's boring as hell. It like no, it's not. It, like no, half it's of not. the half of the narrative isn't even like makes sense or is like thematically like potent or relevant to like the other half. But it's, the scale of it is impressive. I'd it's like Braveheart. I feel very similarly to this. As yeah, Bra- well, Braveheart. okay, Braveheart's significantly worse. Oh, no, really? Yeah, I hate No, Braveheart. you're just tainted by Mel Gibson. I don't, I don't think you need to reevaluate Braveheart. Um, but, I, I mean, I'm not arguing it. I'm not arguing it. You allow me to have spotlight and good, so the idea can go about it. I don't, I don't really care. And now, Beautiful Mind, where is this going? <laughs> so Beautiful Mind, I would put in Crashed here. <laughs> No, Beautiful Mind is 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 top of toward towards the top of good. Beautiful Mind is just boring, flat, like butter flavored Oscar bait. Mmm, butter flavored nuts. <laughs> butter flavored. So okay, here if you, if if you like butter flavored, go eat a stick of butter right now. Swallow it. Um, um we're not no. <laughs> 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 Do I have butter in your- if you eat a stick of butter, we can put Beautiful Mind wherever you want. How big does the stick have to be? <laughs> um, a normal, a normal sized stick of butter. All right, give me a sec. <laughs> We're doing this. You have to do it on camera, though. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> All right. Give your income thinking of ending things instead. I mean, that's brilliant. You know, I I put it in thinking of ending things. Probably all timer, to be honest. Uh, Thomas will be back with a stick of butter to earn beautiful mind being <laughs> being wherever he wants. <laughs> God, how late is it there? It's like three. <laughs> all right. All right. The whitewashing in A Beautiful Mind instantly puts it in Crash Tier. I would agree. I think it deserves to be in Crash Tier with Green Book. But not quite in Green Book Tier with Crash. So. <laughs> He's been gone for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's it's 2.45 a.m. in England. <laughs> Uh, he will do anything. We've we've argued a lot about a beautiful mind. Oh, we're back. <laughs> I blame this on it being quite late here. So here we go. Nice okay. stick of <laughs> lovely butter. Right. So where's it going if I eat this? You can put it wherever you want. Let's put it on all time. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> vile. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> we are putting it in until you eat all of it. We're <laughs> Let's move on to Chicago and then we'll circle back. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is actually horrible. <laughs> I think I might genuinely be sick on camera. <laughs> You were defending butter flavor earlier. <laughs> oh, you just went for all of it. I feel a bit here. Oh, no. Why did I say that? Oh, I, I could have lied there. <laughs> Shit. So I ate a sticker of butter for a beautiful mind at 3 a.m. Gone wrong. Hmm. Hmm. I just thought about cream. We're we're gonna we're gonna wait here. I'm waiting here for you to eat it like a true American. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the off season for the Oscars. <laughs> oh, that's vile. It's utterly vile. Why is butter 
And she's definitely like giving me harmful levels of salt and fat. <laughs> All right, last little bit. Oh. All of it down. <laughs> you do like like you do look like you're gonna be sick. Mmm. Mmm. It's not very really nice. Mmm. So maybe butter flavored isn't a good thing. <sighs> All right. All time. All right. There we go. Lovely. Beautiful mind, all timer. Thank for... you, thank you. Good, good. I would genuinely be leaning all timer as well. I'd go looking at this list. I'd go Moonlight currently, Lord of the Rings, Beautiful Mind, and Departed in all time. <laughs> so, I, there listen, we go. I'm fine with it. You just, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Disgusting. Uh, I'm happy this is the stream of all things I chose to watch. I hope this isn't your first time watching us. The... <laughs> Oh, I'm feeling it in my heart now. I feel like I get heart burn or disease after this. <laughs> this is this is just an average American diet. Like we Yeah, I can't be healthy. <laughs> just Olympic Olympic golden cholesterol levels over here. <sighs> so <laughs> I'm gonna taste that in the morning still. <laughs> anyway. Me, this list is giving me an aneurysm, somebody said. Yeah. If you have a mind over no country <laughs> man giving me a stroke, I agree, but listen, the man We really ate, fucked the list. The man ate point. butter. The man ate a whole stick I of butter. butter so, so you eat a stick of yes. butter and the party goes an all timer? Oh, why? I don't like the departing. <laughs> I think this is, to this, do that again. Said, this is my first time here. I'm sorry. I Um I'm not I'm not eating another stick just for the departed. I'll do anything for a beautiful mind. Because that deserves if any everyone knows the departed's good. People don't like a beautiful mind, and it, it why? Imagine you ate butter for Green Book. That'd be crazy. Don't give me ideas. <laughs> just, just for the okay tier as well. <laughs> I wouldn't even push for all time for Green Book. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that far. Just to get up to the okay tier in a best picture. You still look like you're gonna be sick. Mm. I think I'm good now. Be good now. Okay, Chicago. Okay, I I threw that Chicago. One. Okay. I mean, given what's round, I'd probably lean bad, but like, okay is fine. I, 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 between I that and Jaddy, it's Bottom general. of okay. Yeah, exactly. Bottom of okay. It's fine. Sure. It, 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 for, for it being the movie Chicago, it feels aggressively New York. Sure. Sure. Right, no, I get that vibe. I do get that vibe. It doesn't yeah. feel Chicago. Like, I, I love Chicago. It's my favorite <laughs> city in the world. It does not feel Chicago at all. Um,. But I mean, it's it's fine as a musical, but it is just like it doesn't really expand much beyond the musical um, form. I feel. So. Yeah, yeah. It kind of just is. You know, it rides on the music very heavily. It's not a. It's nothing without the music, yeah, and I'm not okay. even that that big a fan of the music in it. So, sure. you know, Hunter Mark Wahlberg and the Departed goes an all timer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, Parasite all timer, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to do any sticks of butter for that one. Yeah, you can put it there. Sure. Cool. Yeah, I sure. mean, what, like, what what hasn't already been said about Parasite? Like, I, I, I feel like it's it's almost, like, cliche at this point to say, like, Parasite's one of the best movies ever made. But, like, mm -hmm. it is. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's up there. It's up there. And just what a winner as well. Like, yeah. Oh, I mean, just, like, like as a one. winner. Like, yeah. and this is why, like, Moonlight Parasite for me, it, like... Uh, just especially as far as recent time like it's just like not only are they brilliant but for those types of films to be winning is just yeah, brilliant for sure for sure and no there's really nothing that you can really add to the parasite conversation it is just an all-time film like yeah. everything about it is so perfectly balanced and yeah. just brought together like every element of tech every performance the screenplay the direction it's just all brought together and heralded by this just amazing overall vision like if you've seen the storyboard you know that this is just his vision and it's played out immaculately so. absolutely absolutely yeah 100 percent uh if time screen freezes up again make sure it's an actually an internet problem and not a stroke <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> um all right nomadland nomadland i'd throw in good i really quite like i'd throw in good i'd throw it in good as well and yeah. i put it like there no, we can have it below Departed. Yeah. Sure, I'm yeah. fine with that. No, I I mean, I, I love Nomadland. I get some of the problems, but, like, I'm a massive Chloe Zhao fan. Um, uh, like, I mean, the, I, I think that the writer is probably her best movie, to be honest. 
Um, but like, I don't know, Nomadland is just, it's, it's, it, it's really a tone poem in like every sense of the, the words. Like it's, it's just really, it's a really nice study of just like America in a lot of ways. Uh, and I, I love films that just like dive into just the intricacies of American culture because I feel like there's such a lack of actual culture within America. Um, and it just takes a very like kind of reserved approach to all of those ideas and dissecting um, a lot of like the negative sides of it, but also the uh, the beauty of the land and the complications that comes with the land. Like, I know, I, I think it's like a really... And all the while being just such a believable human drama yeah. no, as well. That was like one thing that really just astounded me. Like it does feel like a documentary, as cliche yeah. as that sort of is to say, but and a lot of that is the performance as well. I yeah, think, I think Francis Francis was, I looking back in hindsight, very, very glad that they made the right decision here uh, yeah. to go for the win. I think she was worthy of it. Yeah, no, I, I, I love it. I absolutely love Nomadland. It was one of the first movies where I was like, oh, cinema, love it. Like, yeah. for me, yeah, I, I adore sure. this movie. Um, Massive Chloe Zhao fan, even Eternals. Eternals is the best MCU movie, no, motherfuckers. No, 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 no. <laughs> yep. No, definitely. Best movie Very in the MCU. No, far from it. One of the worst. It's not quite... It was the worst at one point in time. Then... Ant Man and the Marvels happened, and so suddenly it became all right. So it's not. I that adore Eternals. Bad, I think still... Eternals is like everything that the MCU. <sighs> I love. It's that movie really so bad. Much. It's really it's it doesn't set up characters and it doesn't set up plot and it doesn't set up themes because it's trying to set up themes, but it's trying to set up too many themes. Therefore, it just none of it works. I can't believe. I still can't believe you actually like that film. I adore. None I of think it's it works. Amazing. <laughs> Absolutely none of it works. I yeah. I cannot get my at, at all. Like no, just as, as like an using it as like an exploration for like religious ideas and how they've, uh, you know. Uh, but it's not mind. because it's doing so many things. No, as I well. Think, I think but you, it does nothing. Mm, I disagree. I disagree. Like mm. yeah. Anyway, this is not a Marvel. This amazing is not an movie. Movie. Um, <laughs> Moving on, Coda. On this Coda list, can probably go to yeah, yeah. Like here. Mm, I, uh, if you were to ask me which one I'd rather watch out of the three in the bottom of bad, Code would be last on the list. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's awful. It's just I, don't I think it's Coda, more. It's I just think it's aggressively fine. I think it's more forgettable than the King's Speech in Argo. Like if we said those two were like the most forgettable in this list, I think Coda is probably more forgettable. It's only. We we remember it. More I think it has like it... more. I I do think it has like more heart than those films, though. Like it is something that I I don't know. I think you find a bit more out of. Maybe I, maybe I think we this can is keep fine. it there. I, I mean, think... we're yeah fighting for position to for Coda or King Speech. Yeah. Coda, yeah. I'm not eating a stick of butter for Coda. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> put it like that. Um, everything ever. I throw an all timer win. I'd probably personally throw it in gr- uh, good, but I'm not arguing this really. I, 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 can I put film. it here? Here. No, 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 no. I ate, a, I ate a fucking stick of butter for the beautiful mind. We're not having it. No. Jesus Everything, fucking yeah, Christ. There we go. Thank you. And I'll lord this fact over you. <laughs> it's still an all time. It is still an all time. I, I tell know, you what. I, I think, I think, I tell you what. You can put Lord of the Rings last in that tier. Sure. I'll make that deal. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's a Somehow, good beautiful mind is That's now third. <laughs> Yes. Perfect. <laughs> oh, God. I No, I mean, er- everything everywhere just kind of feels like Parasite in the way that, like, it's been talked to death. Like, almost everybody loves it. It, it You know, uh, there's so many video essays and letterbox reviews and everything about how they love it. I I, I, I don't know. Um, It just... It's it's just it is kind of everything. It is so representative of our time. It's really inventive with how it tells those stories. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, again, what it's cliche, but like what hasn't already been said. It's it's an incredible movie. Incredible that that type of film won. And yes, you are hearing and reading this correctly. Thomas would put a beautiful mind in all timer, but not everything ever all at once. Yes, that is true. It feels like a film for everyone in many ways. This yeah. film. Um, and I really appreciate the fact that it did connect with so many people on so many different levels so deeply. It didn't personally connect quite on that level with me, but I still can appreciate 
what it is doing and why it is doing that. Sure. Um, I, I just personally like the, the style of humor didn't always land for me. A yeah, lot of it, fair. a lot of it, I just kind of thought that's not, that's not the kind of thing I find. Like people love Rekka Cooney. I honestly, every time you put, I was like, fuck, why are we, why are we doing this? Um, honestly, and that was my friend you thought, but there's so much heart at its core. Yeah. And that is the core of this film. Like the reason I love this film is not because it's so wacky and uh, all of that kind of stuff. It's because it really knows and I'd agree. I, the I century agree. core. It is the heart. Yeah, it is the heart. yeah. But I think for you, that sort of tone as well was a, a nice bonus. For sure. Uh, someone said I left for uh, 10 minutes. What on earth is a beautiful mind doing an all timer? Um, I not. recommend going back and watching it, but Thomas ate a whole ass thick of butter. And yeah. now we're here. That makes no sense out of context. That makes no sense out of context. Just go back and watch. Um, <laughs> God. Oppenheimer, last one. Good. I mean, I'd I say the very top of good. Yeah, yeah, sure. I would quite call all timer. Like, I love the movie. No. Um, I I absolutely adore the film. I, I'm really happy it won Best Picture, but like, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it fits in all. Like for me, the all timer wins are Moonlight, Parasite, Everything Everywhere. Those are the three all time wins for me. Sure, sure. Like, that 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 would be it. But I mean, yeah, Oppenheimer is just obviously excellent. I I don't feel like we need to talk about Oppenheimer because we've already talked about it a lot over like the last year. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I mean, just I- incredible movie. It didn't really feel like it had like a oh my god, yes, it won because it just was a sweeper the entire year. And it's a film where like I'll look back in twenty years, will I still be heralding the fact that it won Best Picture Maybe in the not. same way I'm like Moonlight won, Parasite won, A Beautiful Mind won. Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um i don't i just don't know if i quite will but it's yeah. i love the film i'm very happy it did win uh yep. and yeah it just it deserves to be towards the top of any best picture ranking so. yeah yeah no I, I absolutely like it's it's just it's it's just a beautifully crafted film and really as good as you can get with like a biopic type so Indeed. yeah well this is our list so your list? your all-timers would be Moonlight, Parasite, Beautiful Mind, Lord of the Rings. And The Departed. And but. The Departed, okay. And I would just have three all-timers yeah. uh, within the, this decade, or this decade, this century so far. Uh, Moonlight, Parasite, everything everywhere. And then we have Green Book and Crash Tier in Crash and Hurt Locker and Green Book Tier. Yeah, because that makes logical sense. Because that absolutely makes sense. But this is the tier list. Hope you all enjoy. I think it's come out quite nicely. I think it's a decent... I think we've compromised quite well yeah we need a video of thomas eating the stick of butter well can you hear the music plays in the background <laughs> someone edit that please someone edit that, please yes last second does anyone want, does anyone want to throw five bucks at us to buy the we're not no no, 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 we can't we can't no we're not doing that we can't just ask for donations to change your list no I we, we can and i just did and also somebody in chat said it somebody in chat said okay. it i was just well, repeating I was just repeating. Okay. Yeah, so this list has the caveat of Thomas guzzled a stick of butter and somebody paid for Lord of the Rings to be an all-time. And Lord, Lord of the Rings be should happy. be an all-time anyway. But, yeah. Those are the only slight tweaks to this list. Yes. $15 I mean, by the way, and a stick of butter later. This is where we're yeah. at. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> cool. Well, yeah. I think that's it. That's, that's it for stream it. today. I think that's probably it. We went for way longer than I was anticipating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, uh, we'll be back on Wednesday, and we'll be uh, we'll be talking about early Oscar predictions. So we'll do like picture, the acting categories, everything. We'll do a bit of research. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for joining. Sorry to everybody who this was their first time watching. <laughs> yeah, interesting way to <laughs> to join the channel, but happy to have you here. Yeah, happy to have you. Happy to have you. Hope to see but, more of you. Yeah, so this was a, uh, this was it. So we will see you guys on Wednesday night, early Oscar predictions. Uh, follow us on Twitter so you can find out the time because I'm not sure yet. Um, uh, our Twitter links. Uh, I'm at just tr- TM Talks Movies. Thomas is at what? What the fuck is your Twitter? TG I underscore. Twitter. Oscar I think it's I think it's TG Oscar Buzz. Yeah. TG Oscar Buzz. Something TG like that. Oscar. Or you can just put in our names. Trevor Matz and yes. Thomas Gladstone. We're on Twitter. We're on Letterboxd. You can find us there. Uh, and yeah, make sure that you stay tuned to, uh, stay tuned to join us for our 
Wednesday, we got to spam butter emojis in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. We will see you guys on Wednesday.